series of conversation with AV Boot Campers. We are delighted to have Yashna with us today. Let's look into her journey into data science and beyond. So, hi Yashna, how are you doing? Hi Himachi, I'm good. What about you? Yeah, perfectly fine. And let's start this conversation uh, with a fun question first. Okay. So, Yashna, uh, tell us one interesting thing about yourself. I love to binge watch Netflix. I can watch it day and night. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting indeed. So, uh, if you had a TV show, what would it be called? I think it would be Spice Girls. <laughs> that's very interesting. So now, Yashna, can you please, uh, you know, introduce yourself to our audience? Okay. Tell us more about your background, your education, your current job, etc. Yeah, sure. So I am from Odisha, and I have born and brought up mostly in Delhi and Lucknow. I finished my schooling in Lucknow and in my 12th I had PCB. After that I did my graduation in hotel management and now I work as product growth analyst in uh, analytics with ya. So you transitioned from uh, hotel management to data science. Yes, that's a pretty big leap and you know a great switch. So you know Yasha, what inspired you for this major switch can you please tell us? Yeah, sure. So, uh, as I told you, I graduated in hotel management. I was working in hotel for one and a half year. Okay. After the pandemic happened, and like most of the people, I lost my job in it. Uh, since I had a lot of time in my hand, I was searching what to do, how to upscale myself. Uh, so, like other people, I was trying out cooking, baking. It wasn't working out for me. Uh, so, I, then I went online to see what can be done. There, I saw a lot of coding courses were going on. People are coding, and this data science is the sexiest job right now. I'm like, okay, let's check it out. Okay. And like that, I started my self paced study of Python. Okay, so but Yashna, you like, it must have been really difficult for you, you know, from transitioning in a, from the hotel management and to data science, and provided the fact that you didn't have like your quant subjects post 10th class and not at all any prior programming language knowledge. So, you know, what were the challenges that you faced and like how exactly did you overcome them? So, I had a very difficult time when I was self-paced learning Python coding and all that. There's a lot of maths involved in it. Uh, I have an elder brother who okay. is himself a data analyst. Okay. He suggested that, you know, you should if you are having issues, you are having problems, then he suggested to look out for a course that will help me out. And in that time, uh, Data Science Immersive Bootcamp came as a disguise. A blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise, indeed. Okay. Uh, he told me to just look at it, have a look at it and see if it's fruitful for you. I look at the brochure uh, and then I saw like, let's just go apply for it. I gave the test, uh, got shortlisted for the interview got selected in the interview and now I'm here. Okay, so you're like your brother suggested this course to you. You know, but what was the deciding factor for you to, you know, enroll into this program? So, there are many factors. Like, first of all, if I point out the uh, curriculum, the content of the curriculum was something a beginner like me would definitely need and that is what they delivered. Second of all, they had internship. So, since I do not have a technical background, Getting an internship, getting into data science was really difficult. It, it's a very competitive field. Okay. So getting an internship was also difficult. And they were giving internship as well as they were definitely giving you the 100% job guarantee. Okay. That was like the topmost. So okay. that's what inspired me to get into the boot camp. Uh, so do you think this immersive data science boot camp has uh, lived up to your expectations? Oh yes, absolutely. Like I mentioned, there, there are so many people who want to do the transition, who are beginners and want to learn, get into the data science journey. I think this is a good start for them. Oh, perfect. So, uh, Yashna, what do you have to, I mean, what are your thoughts on this cohort based system like you had in Bootcamp? Like, was it helpful in your Bootcamp journey? Yes, it was. So, for a newbie like me, you are all alone there. You. I just had, if I had a doubt in any of my code or anything, I had either my brother to look up to or I had to go to Google or Stack Overflow. But in Data Science Immersive Bootcamp, I had friends who were from the 
same who are coming from the same journey and they were just like me so i used to ask them they were just a text away especially the mentors the mentor session that we used to have they were also really good so you're just a text away a mail away from having uh, having a conversation and getting all your doubts cleared so you made friends here i made so many, many good i made five six friends in this that's a pretty good number yeah <laughs> Also, Ashna. So, I would like to know, you know, from a fresher's perspective, what do you think? Like, do you think like the six to seven months uh, is it part enough for a fresher to transition into data science and learn about data science? Okay, so if you are totally brand new in this journey in this field, then initial months are going to be very difficult for you. Initial months are definitely very, but you have to work hard. practice every day spend time like that and if you do it consistently and yeah it definitely in 6 7 months you'll definitely get through it yeah where there's a will there's a way definitely where there's a will there's a way and now if we talk about you know projects mm-hmm. so you did like pretty uh, a, a lot of projects during this program during the yes. 6 or 7 months yes so which particular one do you think is was the most interesting one okay so we were given once a project where we had to scrape um video games what are the cost prices and who was the maker of those video games from this website itself that was one interesting thing we did second of all was loan prediction that was our first ml machine learning project where we had to you know the classification predict whether the loan would be passed or not should be give, allotted or not given or not like that it was very interesting So yes, we also see like you know various application of data science in our day to day lives, be it GPS or virtual assistants. So you know what particular application of data science amuses you the most? Like I mentioned, I like Netflix a lot. I love their recommendation system. Okay, so say I watch something and then immediately after finishing that series or movie, I'm suggested like since you watched this, these are the similar things you would like to watch for the next time. Right. And they are actually what I would really want to watch, like true crime uh, uh, video or dem- uh, documentaries like that. It's amazing. I find it really good. And yeah, I think that's amazing. Okay, so would you be interested in developing a recommendation system in the future if given a chance? Definitely, I would. If you no, know, if I get help from my mentors and my friends, I can definitely make a recommendation of my own. As since you mentioned the mentors, so do you have any favorite mentor or trainer from the bootcamp? So I have two. One is a uh, Tipanjan who who taught us Python. Okay. And by and he taught us the basics of Python so well that it's so easy to understand for somebody newbie like me. And second, I have we had a uh, Bharti Goel. She taught us Power BI. And same Power BI is used for visualization and If you are somebody new to the software, you might get a little, you know, confused. But she taught us so well that now it's very easy to navigate through that and make beautiful presentations. I give beautiful presentations in my job now. So, uh, like you mentioned, you you also learned you know various tools in this program. So Power BI was your favorite one. We learned Power BI and then there was machine learning. A lot of prediction was done. A lot of uh, a price prediction and everything was done yeah. so are you able to implement all these in your your current job profile yes i am as a product growth analyst i really need to know how to uh, see like how my product is doing how to increase it where should i improve like that so ashna like if we can divide your journey into two parts mm-hmm. you can you know, divide it like pre boot camp and post boot camp journey like previously you were uh, like without any math background you were working in in a hotel and then you are a product growth analyst in analytics with you right now yes. so how would you describe your journey okay the tables turned for me the tables turned i was working as a front desk uh, executive of uh, somewhere it, it, it's not like i didn't enjoy what i was doing it's just like hi theek hai i'm doing it but once i started uh, learning python ml or all these tools and techniques i was like yeah this is something i want to do and i want to make my career in it as a professional that's very nice 
So Yashna, like your brother suggested this program to you. So how likely are you to recommend it to others? I would definitely recommend to somebody who has the will to go through all the hardship because this boot camp is not an easy one. Let me clarify this. It's not an easy one. You have to make a lot of hard work to get through. But if you are ready to do that, ready to practice and spend that amount of time, then definitely you, one should go. Any new beginner should go for it. Okay, so we can conclude this interview with that one last question. Sure. So first of all, Yajna, you are an inspiration. Thank okay, you. Your journey really amazes me. This transition is not easy. I can guarantee it. So what advice or tip would you like to give all the people who are doubtful there and you know who want to make the switch into data science but are still wondering whether we should do it, how we should do it, that kind of thing. First thing is get your basics right. In, you go for any interview, in all our mock interviews and all the company interviews that I gave, the first thing they asked are all basic questions. And I have difference between list or tuple or list comprehension, uh, basics of linear regression, difference between linear and logistic regression. Okay. Get your basics strong, as strong as you can. Second is, and obviously you can get them strong by practicing, taking part in either casual competitions or hackathons. There are so many uh, competitions and uh, resources available out there. Go yeah, practically apply. You know. practical, whatever you are learning, practically apply them and see where you stand. If you are still confused, then I think you should go for something else. But if you are able to do it and you still have the will to do it, then definitely uh, one should they make the switch. Okay, so you heard it people. Just practice, practice and practice. Thanks Yashna for doing this interview with us. Welcome.